how we went from here to here and what comes next. It's time to make big changes to this project. So I made this video with the summary of how it started with 3D printed parts, how we got here and the big changes that are coming next and what I'm offering you, the community interested in Tadpole Trikes. The project started with the idea of making a small car and all I had was a small 3D printer so I made a small working mock-up but I wanted to make something that is fitting to my environment so that I can use it and improve it like a very important vehicle that I can use and not just a prototype and for me it's very important besides being useful that it's also fun to ride so I ended up with a tadpole tilting trike so to get started got an old bike frame made a sketch out of wood sticks joined the welding class and extended the frame then I got this thing at home that I needed to transform into a trike. Designed everything for 3D printing, got a bigger 3D printer and went on with it. I even 3D printed the wheels, 5 days to 3D print a solid wheel. Put it all together and gave it a go. It was pretty rudimentary but I knew I was onto something. lessons learned from that barely working prototype I went on to build the real one with most of the mechanical parts made of metal this version I got a new frame and started extending it with my newly bought welding equipment designed the parts to be made out of metal this time and started fabricating and putting it all together this version there are still some 3D printed parts actually. The hubs were quite resilient. And I'm still using 3D printed wheels. Once everything is put together, I go for a ride and it feels pretty good. The tilting mechanism seems to be a win. And in the end, there are many things needing improvement. Many lessons learned and many more to learn. I made a trike with adjustable geometries to find the best rides. Fabrication techniques improved a little bit once more, time using more jigs and my self-made notching machine. Even attempted to make the hubs in aluminium with my CNC machine but I failed to turn the part around exactly so I actually ended up having to order the part from a CNC shop. After everything is put together and the build is finished, there is always this sense of accomplishment. Then it's time for a test ride. And test all the geometry adjustments with different tests. After many adjustments and many tests, we arrive to a geometry that is great to ride. So where is this project now and where is it going? But now we know the geometry of a vehicle like this to make it great to ride and we know how to make it. So now with the knowledge of making such vehicle I'll start over. Everything will have CAD drawings and will be open source. On every evolution of the project, I'll share the CAD files with you in editable format. Hope this inspires others to build. Let's start over with a new frame. This uh, will be this is made of aluminium and has a mid drive. These decisions are arguable, of course, but. Um, 
from industry inside, it seems to me that you can make a more rigid, lighter chassis with aluminium than with steel. I'm a big fan of mid-drives. I actually got this bike with a broken Bosch mid-drive. That's why I got it so cheap. Um, I'll try to fix it, but nevertheless, in the duration of this project, I will design uh, my own mid-drive. Even though the last one was great to build, there are so many improvements that I want to make in this next one. I cannot wait to build it and share it. Quality of the fabrication will also improve. As things progress, I also learn new methods and invest in new tools. I left the most important part for the end, and it makes sense this way. If you're still watching, you probably have been following this project and uh, are engaged with it and are interested in continuing following it. For some of you collaborating as well and helping with your knowledge, it's been inspiring to engage with some of you with comments and emails, with constructive criticism, help with the design, with fabricating. Thank you for that. In the next stage of this project, I'll, I would also like to give a little bit more. And that's why I plan to be very organized with the drawings and share everything in editable format. I hope this inspires others to learn and build and contribute and just have the overall experience of the video a little bit better. Myself, I follow a lot of maker videos and I don't necessarily make the things that they're making, but still I find it enjoyable to watch something being made and shared. I hope you see me next time in the beginning of the open source, tadpole, tilting, cargo trike project. Cheers!